with lymphoma at age seven. Um, and I'd love to hear just your personal experience as such a young child. What was that diagnosis like? You know, I was diagnosed in 1974. I, I had uh, Burkitt's lymphoma. I, I, you know, before I, we knew what we had, my parents knew what I had, I was tired all the time. Uh, I wasn't active. Uh, I'd come home from school and just lay on the couch. And uh, my mother took me in to, and my father took me to the children's hospital. Um, and first time I went there, they sent me home. They thought it might have been appendix. And the next night, I went back in with pain. Uh, they opened, they, they did emergency surgery, they opened me up, and they saw that my, my stomach was loaded with cancer. They closed me up, and they gave my parents a couple options to, one, um, you know, take me to Ireland to see my grandparents and kind of basically say goodbye, or, or try this new form of treatment, which is radiation, not radiation, but chemotherapy uh, and other drugs. And um, I remember it pretty, pretty vividly uh, at the age of seven. You don't know that you have cancer. You don't know that you, you're, you're dying or potentially dying. Um, all you know is that you're a seven-year-old kid and you want to do what other seven-year-old kids did. Uh, although my experience from, from November of 74, literally for almost four years, was a lot of doctor's visits, appointments. I had radiation. I had chemo. I lost all my hair. Um, I had, obviously, the surgery, just to kind of do exploratory surgery. I had the spinal taps and the bone marrows, all the things that you do as, as a patient. Um, and, and, you know, at the time, you don't, I don't think when you're younger, you don't realize what you go through. But as you get older and realize what you experience as a child, it does act, it helps you with, like, basically define who you are and, and, and understanding what perseverance is and things like that. Do you remember a particular moment at which your parents told you that you had a really serious illness? You know, um, I think it was when, when the first time I went to the hospital, um, you know, when, when they keep you over the hospital and, and then the treatments, the chemo was tough. Um, back then it was, uh, it was in a bottle um, and it was yellow. Um, and I remember uh, having that and getting very sick after you, after the chemo um, and, and lose on to lose your hair and understanding that, like, what that's all about and, and just the, the drawing and the blood and things like that that happen as a little kid. You don't, you know, you, you don't, you're not really prepared for that in life. And, and looking, looking at it afterwards, the impact it has on the family. Um, you know, it's, we talk about, you know, cancer can be a family disease, particularly when you have a young child that's sick, and it does affect the whole family. I had one brother, he was uh, at the time uh, four, uh, three and four years old, um, and it just has a big impact on the family.